Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Hydrogen at Home. Um, I thought after re-watching my last video I better explain myself a little bit better as to what exactly I'm trying to achieve here. Um, what I'm basically doing is trying to find out just how much of an influence Volts has on our production. Um, is it the really the only main reason? Um, and how does that compete with uh, plate area and um, different plate configurations for example with neutral plates or without neutral plates and um, basically try to get to the bottom of some questions that I've had for a while that um, I think I can only really answer myself so what I'm trying now I'll go over I'll simplify and sum up all of the, the stuff I found out in the last couple of videos but um, Right now I'm doing tests, uh, this is hooked up with two neutral plates at the moment and I'm going to check what it's doing uh, at 13.8 volts and then I'm going to drop the volts down until I'm getting the same voltage between each plate gap that I was getting in a five neutral plate system. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is off the top of my head, I think it was around about 2.3 and um, so yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to change it up to three neutral plates, then four neutral plates, and try the same thing with all those different configurations. And uh, so I'm going to do that now, and I'll let you know what I find out. Alrighty, right now I'm running this at um, 9.2 volts, and uh, on here it's showing about six and a bit amps. On here it's showing, you can see that. Uh, about seven amps. Um, for all these tests, I've actually been with all the data I collected yesterday and today. I'm going more off this amp meter. Um, I have a feeling it's more accurate, and it's um, this one on here is is giving me higher uh, readings. Uh, so it's not you know might not be the truth. So I'm going to go off the lower one. And because this is a comparative test anyway, I'm comparing the difference between certain configurations. So my total MMW isn't that important. It's what the different configurations get. Uh, I should also mention that these plates aren't insulated around the holes at the moment. And um, they're in a staggered formation. So on this plate there's a hole here, on the next plate there's a hole here, and so on. So that's how these are laid out at the moment. Right now, this is wired up with. Hang on, let me have a look. With uh, three neutral plates, so there's only five plates of this stack actually being used right now, and this is what it looks like. Right now, its efficiency is the same as what this was running with five neutral plates. Uh, it's it's around about four and a half mmw. Uh, I just tested it a minute ago uh, at 13.8 volts, and it was way below that. Uh, just as it's pretty much what I expected. Um, I've also tested it with two neutral plates and four neutral plates, and the same thing is true across the board. Uh, and so far, also with no neutral plates, um, it's basically getting it down to that sort of around about 2.3 volts. I'll be checking with other volts, uh, but at the moment I'm just using that 2.3 volts as a as a point to go off, and they're all pretty much putting out the same amount of mm um, w at those volts, no matter what the configuration. The spaces are all the same, and I haven't taken this apart. I've changed the water a few times, and I've tried numerous tests with both clean water and dirty water, and at different amps and none of that seems to really be changing the MMW at all. It's all to do with the volts. Um, and same too with the amount of plates. It has nothing to do with the MMW. All that really does is change how much you can actually get out of the unit, how many amps you can put into it and how many liters you can get out of it. Um, it doesn't affect the MMW. So yeah, that's it at this stage. I'm gonna, I've got more tests to do to confirm that for sure, I'm going to do a few more bubble tests and I'm going to chuck another cell in here and retest some comparisons between no neutral plates and um, five neutral plates. So yeah, I'm going to do that now.
Alright, so you can see this um, this other cell chugging away inside here. It's pretty cool actually. So that's hooked up in conjunction with this cell. Um, the cables actually go out around here and back up through my bubbler testing hose. So right now this all up is pulling on this amp meter it's showing about 3.9 3.8 amps down on this one it's actually showing quite a bit less it's about um, uh, 2.8 and in volts wise it's pulling 4.6 volts so um, that's been divided up between these two so the cabling basically comes in this side of this cell comes out this side goes in one side of this cell, out the other side and back to the power supply um, it's, it's basically what you would call um, a uh, parallel cell hooked up in series so both these cells are parallel there's no neutral plates every cell has a connection and um, as they stand right now uh, I, I didn't think that you'd get much of an MMW out of this because of this cell, it's not a very efficient cell but um, it's actually pulling uh, about uh, 4.3 MMW um, and that's going off this amp meter here, if I went off this amp meter down here it would be more like, uh, where is it, 5.8 MMW so I'm just going to go off this one for now because um, it's, you know, more realistic and um, I'm going to rewire this now so that each um, cell will have uh, five neutral plates, both of them have seven plates and I'm going to wire them up so that uh, they're in parallel instead of series and um, try this again and see what I get okay I've um, rewired all of this so that um, both of these cells have now got uh, five neutral plates in them and um, it's chugging away right now, a bit over 10 amps. I just did a bubble check at 10 amps a second ago. And um, it may look like it's going off. There's quite a lot of bubbles and stuff going off, but it's actually only putting off about um, 300 milliliters a minute uh, and only giving me an MMW of around about 2.2. So not very well at all. Um, I do have a good theory on that and that's exactly why I did this test but um, I don't think I'll go into it right now I'll uh, see if anyone else uh, knows exactly what's going on here before I before I tell you but um, it's basically put it in short terms this cell is drawing a lot more current now that it's in its neutral plate system um, but yeah I won't say any more because I need to think about it myself a bit but um, that's that for now. Um, I'm going to redo some of these tests once I have um, put some rubber around some of these holes. I might change these holes even and um, insulate them a bit better. And then I'm going to run another group of tests after that. And um, yeah, I'm sure I'll probably come up with some other tests as well to um, double check all of this other stuff. And uh, next time we speak, I'll sure I'll have a whole bunch of theories. But there is a point to all of this, it, it has a lot to do with the direction in which um, I want to head in my uh, cell design. So yeah, that's me for now, hope everyone's well, and uh, I'll see you all soon.